Hey, what's up guys and welcome to this quick tutorial. Now, forgive me, you might hear noises in the background. My mom is talking on the phone loudly outside my room. So, yeah. So anyway, how do you render stuff from the Fusion page? Now, there are countless reasons. So there's a couple of reasons as to why you might want to do this. Uh, one being that Fusion compositions tend to be slow, especially they can really chug out when you have a very complex um, like uh, timeline. And uh, it can be quite annoying. So the best way to deal with that, like with it being slow, is just rendering out it out as a sequence, and then bringing bringing uh, like the sequence back into uh, Resolve as a video. Now I'm saying a sequence because Fusion can only render image sequences in the EXR format. So yeah, let me jump into the Fusion page now. The like Fusion apparently being slow, you'll first of all notice it a lot in. The fusion page itself right so as you can see this green line is like the caching and as you can see it's really chugging right and this is just a simple scene trust me if there was like um a very complex one with like a million nodes this problem would even be worse and sometimes maybe um you might want to render out stuff and then bring bring it back as a video too um, easing up the project. So how do you render stuff from this page? It's as simple as uh, I'm just going to hold control not control but shift and spacebar to bring up the uh, Select the tool the browser the tool browser and I'm just going to as you can see I'd already searched for it I'm going to so you're going to search for a node called the saver. So just Click on add it should pop here and then connect it uh, the output the very the very last thing before your media input uh, connect it to your saver like that okay and on the saver as you can see it's going to bring up this window now offset just means um do you want to start to render from frame 20 so from 20 will be the offset so it's going to start rendering from tw frame 20 so that's basically what the offset means there's a couple of stuff here like um you know clipping mode I don't know what some of this stuff are, but I, I rarely find myself using this stuff. I just usually go to file, browse, uh, save. As I, re I had already like rendered out um, a sequence, so I'm not going to render again. But uh, once you've determined where you want your image sequence to go, uh, just put it there. And then once you're done, the, the, the last thing you need to do is uh, you need to go to your f uh, Fusion tab up here. Just click on Fusion and uh, you'll see something called render all savers. So if you have like a couple of, if you have even like three savers, right? Uh, maybe you might want to render like something from uh, the, like a node up here and you want it to also come out as a sep uh, as a separate sequence. So long as you say, you come up here and say render all savers, it should render out as an image sequence to the specified folder of those, uh, of the, the node. Right, so the specified folder that you had put, um, that you had put here. So, um, once you've rendered or once you've um, done or completed your render, as you can see, like I had said, it renders out as an image sequence, as an EXR sequence. Um, it's easy just to go to where you um you had uh, put your, and this works both in like the resolve, the editing page, and the fusion page. Now, for the fusion page, if you want to load an image sequence, you just need to. Uh, press shift spacebar and then look for something we call loader, right? Uh, it's going to pop open something like this. You just need to highlight everything. Um, I don't know. You need to highlight everything. No, I don't think so. I just think uh, you need to... Let me let me drag this to this window. Just give me a sec, right? I think you just need to select the first image for the fusion side. You need to select the first image and fusion is smart enough to know that. Um, let me disable that. Fusion is smart enough to know that that's an image sequence. As you can see, it even has transparency, right? Uh, for the resolve page, uh, you can go to your media, which I find is the most tedious way of finding, of importing image sequences. Uh, for me, what I do is I go to the media pool. I just say, I right click and I say import media. And um, if you click on one, uh, let me just show you what will happen. It's, not go it's only going to import one image. So don't do that right if you want to import the whole sequence um probably don't do that so import media and i'm just going to highlight everything i'm going to say open and if you drag your mouse you can see it has imported um the video right and it has transparency so um i have this footage as a test so let me just uh make sure to 
disable that sound and i'm going to drag this um uh, simple title sequence on top of this video and as you can see it does have its transparency and uh the scene doesn't chug as much right so this is what i was saying when like um sometimes the fusion page can be very slow and you just need to render out like a title and uh it's maybe bogging down your timeline and you find that maybe uh, you have a big enough timeline such that you don't like it's annoying for you to go to the deliver page and uh, render it out as a video and check all those settings so yeah basically that's how you that's how you render stuff from the fusion page so yeah if you have any requests or tutorials just be sure to leave them down on the comment section if this video helped you out you know like it so that it can be recommended to other people and i should see you in the next tutorial